Tomatoes are delicious vegetables that help prevent cancer due to its high levels of lycopene. Oh wait, are we talking about the open source router firmware? Hi there, I'm Vamzi from SmartDNS Proxy and in our previous video, we saw how to set up SmartDNS Proxy on open source firmware DDWRT and in this video, let's take a look at its younger brother, Tomato. Unlike DDWRT, Tomato is even easier to install and use. Its biggest strength is the real-time bandwidth and connection monitoring which means you can see anything that happens on the network as it's happening, like live. So if you're one of those rare geeks who went out of his way to flash tomato firmware and want to bypass geo restrictions, here's how you set up SmartDNS proxy on it. Let's begin, shall we? Before we begin, make sure you're connected to your tomato router. To access your tomato router admin panel, open up your web browser and in the URL box, type the IP address of your router. If you're not sure what that is, open up your terminal on Mac or even Linux and type in route-n get default. The value next to gateway is your router's IP address. And for Windows, type in ipconfig forward slash all. And look for the value next to the default gateway. That's your router's IP address. By default, Tomato uses 192.168.1.1. Once done, it'll ask for the username and password which you had set before when you first set up the device. So just type that in. Once you log in, your Tomato interface might look a bit different based on what firmware you're running. In my case, I'm running the VPN build, but the steps are pretty much the same. From here, look for the basic settings option in the left panel and click on network. Scroll down to see DNS service option and set it to manual instead of auto. SmartDNS proxy has DNS service all around the world that can improve DNS query speeds. In general, you'll need to choose a DNS server as close to your physical location as possible. For this instance, say if I'm in Australia, then I'd use two DNS servers from countries near Australia, like itself and New Zealand. Once you've done that, save the changes. Apply the settings and reboot your router. To do this, click on the gear icon on the top right that says System, and then select Reboot. Now, just as we did before in all the other SmartDNS Proxy setup videos, you'll need to log in to your SmartDNS Proxy My Account section and activate your IP address. If you haven't already created an account, you can do it now. SmartDNS Proxy offers a 14-day free trial with no credit card being required when you sign up. Once you log in, go to My Account section and make sure you see all the green text. If your IP shows not active, simply click on Update IP button. And that's it, it should work now. Though do remember, most devices on your network will not begin using the new DNS settings unless you restart the device. A good way to check if it's working or not is by accessing the content that previously was unavailable. If it's loading, then it obviously is working. Well, that's all for now. Let us know in the comment section below if you want us to handpick some of the best features of DDWRT or even Tomato. Like, share and subscribe if you like this video. As always, I'm Vamdu and SmartDNS Proxy and thanks for watching.